Hi guys, we're here doing a quick video. We have a member on Facebook, Clinton Caraway, is having an issue with this uh, purple line here. Sorry to drop your name there, bud. But uh, we, he was trying to get this this outcome. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start off by getting rid of this. Oh, everything is selected as a group, so we're going to ungroup the selection. We're going to get rid of this interior circle. Don't want that guy no more. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select this purple line. And we're going to offset it. We're going to offset it a distance of 0 0.025 inches. And we're going to do that to the inside. Now, since that one that we just offset is highlighted now, we're going to go ahead and leave that highlighted and go back in the offset tool, change that distance to double of our previous 0 0.050. And we're going to go ahead and do that to the outside. This is the effect that we get. Now we can go ahead and delete this inner ring. All right, so now we're going to try to close this up. All right, we could try to go ahead and do this guy. And just do this guy. Now, if we have a line across here, click done, we're unable to do a Boolean subtraction correctly what we want all right so nothing's happening so what are we going to do we're going to go ahead and back out of there change all that what we just did now we're going to start with a rectangle click corner to corner now if you notice it's a little bit tall so we're going to go ahead and decrease the height to half of what it originally was click apply now we can click and drag the upper right corner to that node right there now we're left with this yet we still cannot do a boolean subtraction all right so now we're going to go back to that line and click join and do the same thing for the outer ring click join now we're left with this now we can get rid of this out this this line now okay so if we boolean like this not the desired effect we're going to go ahead and go back out of there now our outer box needs to be highlighted we're going to manually select that, make sure that's dashed. Go ahead, select Boolean Subtraction, and this is what we're left with. Go ahead and come back over here. Do your rectangle once again. Half of the height. Go ahead and select the node, drag it over. Now we're going to do the same thing we did to the other side. Remember, make sure this box is the one that has a dashed line, or else you won't get the desired effect click that guy all right so we still want to do a boot we still want to get rid of this and how do we do that we cannot just go in there and do a boolean subtraction because that's what happens we don't get our effect so we come back in here we're going to go to node edit mode we're going to drag this couple guys over here oops we're going to drag these guys right on over just like so proceed to the opposite side Now, if I'm going too fast for you guys, let me know in the, in the comments. I have a tendency to do that. I've done this video probably about three or four times now. Went from a minute and a half, and now we're approaching four minutes. So we've got that highlighted. We're going to go ahead and do the Boolean subtraction, and voila. There we go. We've got the desired effects, and it wasn't that hard. Thank you guys for your time, and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If not, sorry.